What is happening, everyone? Welcome to G-Ball Vision. Tonight, we have an exciting unboxing to dig into. This was sent into the channel by Trevisa. Uh, they wanted me to take a look at this guy and do some review and testing on it. This is the first knife that has been sent into the channel by Trivisa. I do have a couple other Trivisa knives that I featured on the channel before, uh, but those I did buy with my own money. This one was sent into the channel. It is the EQU-04B. That is the model name of the knife. And one thing I can say before we get started, is Trivisa does a fantastic job uh, with the knives that I've had in from them. Whether it was a, a $50 knife or a $100 knife, they were executed very well using good materials. And I expect nothing less from this one. It looks uh, pretty interesting. We'll use the EMP EDC Relative in MagnaCut to dig this guy open it is out of the mailer uh, but that's because the mailer was kind of destroyed and because they come sealed like this uh, you will know that I have not been into this yet so uh, nice packaging from Trivisa I like their boxes uh, presentation isn't everything but it definitely uh, it plays a nice role in, you know, the knife game. It is, it's nice that companies will include certain things. So you have a sleeve, better materials and craftsmanship, it says. So that is the sleeve. And then you have a two-stage box here. And then they include a nice microfiber cloth there. Has the Trivisa name on there. We'll slide that to the side. Some information, warranty information, and all that sort of thing. We'll slide that to the side. A nice little pouch. These things can come in handy for various things. Then you have a nice foam insert where your knife is housed in a plastic baggie. We assume that these have been QC checked. So the one I, they have a couple different flavors of this knife. I will link it down in the description so you can head over there and check it out. There is a sale on these right now. They have red micarta, blue micarta, uh, black micarta, and then two or three different finishes on the blade. This is the one that I opted for. I wanted the black micarta with the black blade. Uh, it will go with my Trevisa Lynx, which is black micarta, black blade. Uh, so that is kind of why I went with this. Nice and centered right out of the gate. You have a flipper tab, a front flipper tab here, or a top flipper tab. And then you have a rear flipper tab here. You have a nice deep carry pocket clip that is recessed along with the screws. It will not be reversible though. So this is right hand carry only. Ooh, okay. Nice neutral handle. And then you have a 10, I forget, is it 10 CR? It's a 10 CR 15, yes. 10 CR 15 COMOV. Uh, so there's a bunch of different combinations of you know, from 3CR all the way up to 10CR, but 10CR15 is supposed to be a pretty decent steel. Uh, you know, especially if heat treated properly. Now this is a Tanto style blade here, more of like a, a Japanese traditional Tanto where you don't have the acute secondary point. Man, that is nice. You have a nice little swedge here, swedge here. That black wash finish is nice, nice and shiny as well. A little bit of oil on there. And then they have the steel choice right there, 10CR, 15CO, MOV. Uh, and that is all that is on the blade. So that is perfect. You have the Trivisa logo there on the pivot. That is perfect. Minimal hardware. You have a little lanyard hole there, geared G10 backspacer, steel liners, 
lockup is sitting pretty about 20 to 25 percent. You have good access there with a chamfer on the liner and a chamfer through the scale there. Ooh, disengagement's nice and easy. Detent is tuned pretty good for the rear flipper. Access is great. Easy to disengage that bad boy. Yeah, the detent's nice. Can you push button it? Yeah, you definitely can. So you can light switch it and you can, well, I guess if you come down, you can push button it. Otherwise that front flipper tab will get you. Let's try that. So that's a little, okay, yeah. That's a little different, but it works pretty good. Okay. That's got a decent detent on it. Good fine jimping on that top flipper, front flipper area. It works good. Yeah, it does. That's pretty nice. Why don't we go ahead and, of course, guys, this is just an unboxing and a little first impressions on this guy. We will do an in-depth overview of this guy in the time to come. So you're going to have a decent amount of cutting edge, almost three and a half inches. It's going to be right in between seven sixteenths and a half inch. And then you're right about uh, five eighths for your total, total blade. And you are coming down around eight and an eighth, maybe eight and three sixteenths for your total length. So that's a good size knife. And I gotta say, it's actually very comfortable in hand. <clears throat> These, this version, so the black on black, what you see here is going to retail for $58.99. 5% coupon code on that guy. $56.99 for the blue micarta. And I believe it's a stone washed blade. Uh, that one's going to be $56.99 with a 5% coupon. And then you can go with the red micarta. And that's they're either satin or stone washed. They have both on there. And I'm not sure what they're referring to. Uh, Unless it's a two-tone style of blade where some of it's stone wash, some of it's satin. Uh, but the red micarta definitely looks satin where the blue one looks stone washed. Um, like I said, I will link these three knives down below. But for under 60 bucks, uh, 10CR, 59 to 61 is the HRC on these guys. And... Another thing that I don't know 100% for certain, uh, but from what I've heard, Trivisa makes their own knives. These are not OEM by someone else. Trivisa has their own factory where they make these knives. Um, now, don't take that to the bank. That's just what I've heard. Uh, and I believe I've heard that from Trivisa as well. Uh, so that's pretty cool that, you know, a smaller company like that, even though they, you know, are a Chinese manufacturer, it's cool that they're, they're doing their own thing and not relying on a different company to make their knives. There's nothing wrong with that at all. It's just cool. And it's, you know, fairly unique, uh, that they have their own factory where they are building their own knives. That clip really reminds me of some Vostid clips I've had in the past. Not identical, but very similar. I like that there's very minimal hardware. Nice neutral ergos. The action is good on this guy. Nice and controlled. Blade came centered. Uh, the detent is nice. And I believe I saw, I want to say it was Big Red, 
uh, JB over there. I believe I saw him do a video on this knife as well. And from what I remember, he seemed to like it. And his was also very well finished and well done. Uh, and here is another example of great execution. Would I have preferred 14C? Yeah, I would have at the $60-ish mark. But uh, I think 10CR15 is not far below 14C. Uh, 14C does very well uh, in two out of the three categories. And, you know, the uh, corrosion resistance is still awesome on 14C. Uh, 10CR, though, from what I hear, is a good mid-range steel. Uh, absolutely nothing wrong with 10CR, especially giving the price point of 50 to 60 bucks. Definitely nothing to sneeze at. So let's see how the factory edge came. It feels nice and thin. So it should be, yeah, it's definitely nice and thin. And it came sharp too. Definitely came with a good edge. Now, all my experiences with Trivisa, like I said, I've had, I have two or three Trivisa knives and uh, they're well priced and typically they are very well done and come with a good edge. Uh, they're doing their heat treats properly. Uh, 59 to 61 is good to go on the 10CR15. And they put a nice screaming edge on this guy. Yeah, they did. Can we see what that front portion is hitting for? Maybe. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you can just feel it biting into your fingers. So, you know, for 60 bucks, guys, actually a little less, you're getting a good heat-treated steel. Uh, fairly thick back here, and it actually maintains some thickness to that tip. So that's, you know, a good thing. You're going to have some, some rigidity there on that tip. And then it comes down... Pretty thin, not ultra thin, because it's not a very tall blade, but it does come down pretty thin through here. And then it thickens up as you get up to this belly area and the tip. You have that swedge there, and that's not a bad thing. That's going to allow you to do poking and piercing tasks and not have to worry so much about breaking that tip. Good access to the liner, minimal billboarding. Uh, yeah, this is definitely... A nice user knife right here for a good price. You got dual deployments with the front and rear flipper tab. Uh, they both work good. It's on bearings. Uh, you have a ceramic detent ball in there. Nice chamfer. Yeah, definitely well executed. We'll do a full in-depth overview of this guy coming up. Let me know what you think of this guy down in the comments. I'd love to hear what you have to say about this knife and or what you have to say about Trivisa. Uh, in my experience, they do an excellent job. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up before you head out. And if you're new to the channel or you're here and you are not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below the video. I would love to have you here. Otherwise, guys, I'll throw up two new videos here and here. Definitely go and check those out. Have a good night, and I'll catch you on the next one.